Well, well, well. Year in review. But let's wait. We'll say that for the next time. Tonight we're going to talk about that bullshit. Uh, Happy New Year's, everybody. Happy 2022. We in here. Kicking back, smoking some of this. Oldie but goodie, you know. Old New World, you know. Oldie but motherfucking goodie. Uh, yeah, it's 2022. Um, and already this weekend, we saw the first taste of some bullshit. Um, my boy Antonio Brown, AB, went off yesterday. Uh, if you if you didn't see it, went off this weekend um, against the Jets. Not going off uh, skill-wise. My man went off um, mental-wise. <laughs> um, Tony Brown, as you know, possibly, if not top five receivers in the game, without, definitely within this, you know, this past decade. One of the best Super Bowl champ, I believe, two times Super Bowl champ now with the Steelers, and now uh, they won last year with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, definitely an uh, incredible athlete, represent Miami from so he's from down here, in my neck of the woods. Um, well, yesterday he, but he's been marred with a lot of uh, issues. Uh, in the past, he had some domestic issues. He had, um, recently, he didn't want to take his COVID test. And um, that was another issue. He had to get suspended for that. Um, he had some issues with Mike Tomlin and the Steelers. He was uh, in the locker room, uh, you know, basically putting out uh, team business on some fuck shit. Um, and you know, last but not least, yesterday he takes it to another level, man. Uh, apparently, he had some issues. One of the coaches, um, he didn't like what he had to say to him. Um, so AB takes his clothes off as the game is going on, throws the shit on the on throws the, the uniform on the. Um, Sideline, helmet and shoulder pads, and continues to uh, walk uh, topless across the end zone while the game is still fucking going on, you know? Um, so, this got everybody up. One, concerned about his welfare, his well being, and two, um, is this his last chance in the league? I'm some hot cocoa tonight because it's winter. Um, and um, basically, um, just messed up my shirt. Anyway, um, basically, is he done? You know. I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, apparently, some some rumors are today that they took him out of the game. So he was about to do some uh, bonus types numbers, or oh, he had a big bonuses coming up. As you know, kind of any any given Sunday stuff. You remember when uh, Lawrence Taylor any given Sunday he wanted his bonus? You know, football. Uh, that wasn't just move football. Is you know. They work off of bonuses. They get so many such, they meet so many bonuses, they get a little additional money. So it's not like basketball where it's the money is more guaranteed uh, or like baseball, you know. It's a fucked up sport and dangerous, and but they have to do such and such, so much of this just to get uh, the money that they should be given anyway. Um, but, um, So that's, you know, 
part of the, the hearsay that's going on right now in the streets. Uh, I personally think if that's true, it's fucked up. Um, and they do they deserve to pay the dude money. Um, two, also, he's been acting up for a while. And, um, and, they, and I know um, he's having some issues off the field, on the field, in the locker room. But he continues to get opportunities, so which is odd since, uh, you know, somebody like a Kaepernick or even a Tebow, you know, they just get thrown out the league. And they really aren't disciplined problems. They, uh, you know, Kaepernick had a social stance and they got rid of him. But the NFL has, has kept, you know, wild, crazy, thugged out motherfuckers for years. And not just black guys, you know. White guys, too. They've let slide. So the NFL is... Strange organization, you know, as long as you can ball, they'll be trying to overlook stuff. But you stand and, you know, stand up for something, they let you go, which is very odd and I think makes no sense. Um, but, you know, I think the brother needs to get a little help, a little, um, Something's wrong. I don't know if it's they saying it. They, they say the CT after he took that hit from uh, Burfecht a few years back. He hasn't been right. I don't know, man. He does have a lot of prima donna type ways in his shit. You know, definitely some fuckboy shit he be doing, you know. Got some attitude. But my, that, that haven't been a lot of dudes that can ball. But also, I think, uh, you know, they fuck with him at certain times and make him act out like that. So it was good shit. It's good promotion for the teams, you know. <laughs> you know, as long as you, you know, bringing in dollars, they can still fuck with you, you know. But um, I don't know. So they saying he can no longer play for them. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll see. They let Pac-Man Jones in the league for years, and he whooped the ass in the in the game, outside the game, in the strip club, whooping ass. Roethlisberger still playing, you know. So NFL, I, I mean, I know he did it on national TV, but uh, NFL is full of uh, degenerate, deviant, undisciplined motherfuckers who do all types of crazy and wild shit. So. I think my man will be back. He'll be back somewhere. They'll get him some counseling. You know, he's the, clearly the best player other than Tom Brady on that team. So, I don't think we've seen the last of him. Uh, I was, you know, just watching his live. And uh, dude does talk kind of slow, like something's wrong with him mentally. So he's like he's got a little brain issue, but we'll see, we'll see. But uh, wish him the best. Um, you know. So I think he. Uh, we'll see what happens. I doubt AB is out of the league. You know, he's the best top five receivers in the NFL. He's not free agent. Uh, he was out before. He was on the Patriots. They, they got, had that issue, um, you know, the whole uh, domestic thing. He got dismissed, picked up by the Dolphins, uh, I believe, or was it the other way around? I'm not really quite sure. He gets chances. The dude can ball, man. So I don't think we've seen the last of him. He'll be back, man. Other than that, though, be back on that cigars and bullshit. I'm gonna try to do more uh, in the fields this year. I'm gonna try to get a new camera, uh, a new laptop, definitely, and uh, start making this thing more, more uh, mobile, uh, back than it used to be. Try to get my boys back into this, but they're, they're just fucking not reliable. So we're gonna 
find some new characters to come in and hang with me and talk that bullshit, man. Anyway, happy New Year, Cigar Talk City. Watch me on Cigar Talk Weekly also, where I discuss the best cigars of the year. This is his, that cigars and bullshits. That said, hope, hope you had a happy Christmas, happy New Year. Um, 2022's already starting off wild. New variants coming out every fucking week like mixtapes. And uh, so stay masked up. Wear your mask. And uh, smoke something good. That said, like, share, follow, subscribe. Follow me at Cigar Society South Florida on Instagram. And Cool Ass Revealed on TikTok. With that said, I'm out. Peace. Ooh.